In this video, I'm going to talk about the kinetic energy operator in quantum mechanics. This video is part of a playlist on quantum mechanics. You can find the link to this playlist in the description below. First of all, let's introduce kinetic energy in classical mechanics. So there's actually a video in this playlist dedicated to kinetic energy in the classical sense. But I'm going to quickly recap what that video entails. So in this video, we're going to use capital T to denote kinetic energy. And this capital T is equal to 1 half mv squared. So this is in Newtonian mechanics. And as we saw in that video in this playlist, this is actually equivalent to p squared over 2m. Right? So if you set a p equal to mv, which is its definition in Newtonian mechanics, p is equal to mv, uh, you can actually switch between these two forms of the expression. This uh, expression over here is in terms of the velocity v, and this form of the expression is in terms of the momentum p. They're both equivalent, but we're going to be using this one over here because quantum mechanics prefers to deal with momentum. It doesn't really like to deal with velocity. So we're going to use this, uh, and we're going to adapt it for quantum mechanics. But first of all, what we need to know is the momentum operator in quantum mechanics. So this little top bit over here, this is classical mechanics. Now let's go over to the quantum mechanical operator, uh, which represents momentum. So momentum, or the momentum operator, which I'll, I'll write a little hat on top to indicate it's a momentum operator, this is equivalent to uh, h bar over i times the partial derivative of x. Sometimes you might also see it uh, written in this form. You might also see minus i h bar times the partial derivative with respect to x. Right, this is uh, equivalent. I, when you divide it, when you're dividing by I, that's equivalent to multiplying by minus I. So these are equivalent uh, representations of the momentum operator. So this is what we're going to use uh, in conjunction with this to define the kinetic energy operator in uh, quantum mechanics. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little hat on top of this T. It's T hat. It's the kinetic energy operator. And we're going to define that to be equal to uh, p hat, or the momentum operator, squared over 2m. So what is this actually telling us? There is a constant, 2m, right? 1 over 2m. That's just the constant. And what do we have over here? We have the momentum operator squared. Now, an operator squared means that you have to apply the operator twice. So we have to apply this combination to a function twice. That's what this squared means. So let's write that out in full. That's going to be 1 over 2m, that's that constant out the front. Then we're going to apply the momentum operator once, which is h bar on i times d dx. And then we're going to do that again, h bar on i d dx. And have a look, what can we do? We can actually uh, swap the order of some of these things. When we're multiplying by a constant, we can just move that constant because the derivatives, they are going to ignore constants. They're not interested in constants. They're only interested in functions that depend on x because they are partial derivatives with respect to x. So what we can do is we can group this h bar on i out the front. We can turn that into an h bar on i all squared. And we can group these two derivatives together and turn it into a second partial derivative with respect to x. That's going to give us 1 on 2m times h bar on i, all squared, times the second partial derivative with respect to x. So I've just grouped those two derivatives together, and I've grouped all of these constants together, and what we're going to do is we're going to slightly massage this, we're going to manipulate it, and that's going to give us a uh, more simple expression. I'll write that expression underneath over here. So what we have is we have this 1 on 2m. This h bar squared is going to come up to the top, and this i is going to disappear because i squared is minus 1. And that's going to give us a uh, factor of minus 1. So this i squared is going to turn into minus 1. And overall, all those constants are going to combine to give us minus h bar squared over 2m times the partial derivative with respect to x. And it's a second derivative, right? We're applying that derivative twice. And this over here, this is the kinetic energy operator. We're going to be using this in the next video to define the expectation value of the kinetic energy. So remember this formula over here. I'll rewrite it down here. This is the takeaway message for this video. 
The kinetic energy operator is minus h bar squared over 2m times this second uh, partial derivative with respect to x. And you might recognize this from the Schrodinger equation. It is, in fact, the kinetic energy part of the Schrodinger equation. So this should be very familiar because in this playlist, we've actually studied the Schrodinger equation uh, quite a bit. So keep in mind, this is what we're going to be using in the next video. You can watch that next video uh, and all the other videos in this playlist if you click over here.